Lofty Matambo for us uh, there in Kibra and uh, those demolitions just uh, along the perimeter wall of the St. Mary's Girls High School um, that uh, recently was dogged by uh, rape uh, allegations and of course just trying to ensure that once the girls get back to school they will be safe. A lot has been said by the traders there including that they were not given any notice but Lofty Matambo continues to follow up on uh, all the possible angles to this and all the stakeholders that are involved in the same. And speaking of rape cases, Semisub County in Kisumu has been on the spot over cases of defilement, rape and other forms of sexual assault. Currently, there are two pending court cases on defilement. Due to the outcry, gender-based violence group has organized a sensitization outreach targeting motorcyclists, popularly referred to as Boda Boda Riders. Our reporter, Kevin Ogutu, joins us live from Pap Kadundo Stadium, where activities are currently underway in a rally dubbed Border Fest, male involvement to end gender-based violence. Kevin, good afternoon. I mean, why are they specifically targeting border border riders? A very good afternoon, Akisa Wandera, and quite a very good question, if I may say. Actually, uh, same sub county has been on the spot over cases of rape and other forms of sexual uh, violence. Uh, so the reason why they are targeting border border is because the border border have been quite key, so to, so to speak, uh, in actually uh, get, getting, have uh, been quite uh, involved in such cases here in Kisumu County. So, hello Akisa, are you able to get me? I can get you, go on, Kevin. Okay. Yeah, so Akisa, the, the water board have been quite accused of actually increasing some of these uh, cases and therefore this is the reason why they've been targeted because they're the very people who actually transport these girls uh, and young women to various places and also know where they come from. So uh, this is actually aimed at reducing teen pregnancy and early child marriages as well uh, in as much as they're also trying to target this particular group. Uh, so I will very quickly introduce Rosemary. Rosemary is from Plan International and she's been quite key in uh, uh, this particular drive and uh, Rosemary will be uh, more uh, in a better place to actually tell us uh, what they've been doing so far with regards to this. So Rosemary, welcome to KTN News. Please, briefly, uh, can you brief our viewers on uh, what you've been doing so far? Well, thank you very much. My name is Rosemary. I work for Plan based here in Kisumu, but uh, specifically for this project, it's called the Girls Advocacy Alliance. The project specifically works with young women and teenage moms, and uh, basically it's to capacity build the young girls, because as the society condemns them, we are wondering then what becomes of these girls. So for a period of time from 2016, we've been building their capacity, and purposely for issues of advocacy and lobbying. You realize there has been challenges in re-entry. Fine, they got pregnant at an early age, they want to go back to school. Then you have this school that says, no, I do not want this. But yes, in as much as the policy is very clear on re-entry, we still have a few challenges here and here. So it's about encouraging them, building their capacity, talking against early marriages, talking against teen pregnancies. And for the girls that we are working with, who are called the girls advocates, who are here today, it's about, can you go back to school? What is it that you're able to do? Because an empowered woman is an empowered society. So these are changed girls. These are girls. Some of them have gone to school. Some of them are willing to join the TVET. So we are working very closely with the county government to ensure that if they do not go back to school, then they are placed in either TVET to be able to build their capacity. And purposely for here today, uh, it's an initiative by the girls. They want to talk to as many girls. There has been rising cases of gender-based violence, rising cases of teenage pregnancy. So these are girls who are out there to speak. So we call it the girl-led advocacy, the power of girls to change the world. Yes, the society had condemned them. They've had babies at an early age, but they are willing to change the world. They are willing to live their past and change the future. So they've come together and they're saying, how do you work with men? We call it of course, we'll be going back to Seme, where our reporter, Kevin.